Good morning. So this morning, let's learn about direct variation. So let's have first the definition of direct variation. So we have the value of y varies directly with the value of x. So y and varies directly is represented as equal to k. And of course, the value of x. Now our equation here will be y is equal to k times x or y over x is equal to k where k here is the constant of your variation okay now let's proceed on the first example show that y varies directly as t so given here are the table of the number of hours traveled by the car to its kilometers traveled and k there is the constant of our variation so we are going to go back to our problem show that y varies directly as t so varies directly is represented as equal to k and the time so our equation here will be y is equal to k times t now if we want to solve for the k we divide everything by t we cancel the t so our k will be y over t now let's have the first column on the first column, y is 40 and the time is 1. We substitute this to our equation, so k is equal to 40. So k for column 1, that is 40. Now for column 2, we have y is 80 and the time is 2 hours. So if you're going to substitute that, that would be 80 over 2. So k is equal to 40 for column 2. Now for column 3, we have 120 over 3, that is also 40. And for column 4, we have 160 over 4, that is also 40. And for column 5, we have 200 over 5, that is also 40. So if you have noticed, the constant there are all the same because we consider that as the constant of our variation. Now let's have the graph of this table okay let's have the x and the y axis now our x here are the time and our y are the kilometer traveled so our time there are one to five hours and the kilometers are 40 to 200 okay let's plot the points so for one hour that's 40 kilometers and for two hours that's 80 kilometers and for 3 hours, that's 120 kilometers. And for 4 hours, that's 160 kilometers. And for 5 hours, that's 200 kilometers. Now, let's trace the points. Okay, if you have noticed, as x increases, the y also increases. Because we need to consider that when we say direct variation, as the first variable increases, the second variable also increases. Okay, now let's proceed. Letter B. Let's have the equation of variation. So a while ago, we are given that the k is equal to 40. Now, we simply substitute the k to our equation. So y is equal to 40 times the time. Again, the equation of variation is y is equal to 40 times the time. Now, find y when t is equal to 1.5 and the time is 4.25. So, we will be using the equation of variation y is equal to 40 times the time. Simply substitute the time. So, 40, the t is 1.5. So, 40 times 1.5, that's 60 kilometers. Now, for 1.5 hours, the car were able to travel for 60 kilometers. Now, let's proceed to 4.25 hours. Again, substitute for the T. So, we have 40 and the time is 4.25. So, 40 times 4.25, that is 170 kilometers in 4.25 hours. Okay, let's proceed to our second example. The distance a body falls from the rest is directly proportional to the square of the time it falls. Okay, letter A. If an object falls 20 meters in 2 seconds, how far will it fall in 8 seconds? And letter B. An object was dropped from a height of 405 meters 
find the time it took for the object to hit the ground. Okay, first, we need to look for the equation of our variation. Now, we go back to the problem. So, we have here the distance directly proportional and the square of the time. So, the equation of variation will be d is equal to kt squared. Now, letter A. We have there the given 20 meters in 2 seconds. So, we have there the distance is 20 meters and the time is 2 seconds. And we will be solving for the constant of our variation. Again, our equation is d is equal to kt squared. Substitute the given 20 is equal to k. Time is 2 squared. So, we have 20 is equal to k. 2 squared is equal to Four. We divide everything by 4. Now, we cancel the 4. So, we have there, k is equal to 5. Now, we are going to use the k here. So, d is equal to kt squared. How far will it fall in 8 seconds? The same equation, d is equal to 5. And the time now is 8 seconds. So, 8 squared. So, 5, 8 squared is 64. 5 times 64, that is 320 meters. Now, let's proceed on letter B. So, we have here, the height is 405 meters. So, the given is 405 meters. How or find the time. So, therefore, time is equal to unknown. So, the same equation, D is equal to K squared simply substitute so we have 405 is equal to our k there is 5 and the t is unknown so now divide everything by 5 then we cancel the 5 405 over 5 that is 81 and copy the t squared so we get the square root of both sides square root of 81 is 9 and we cancel the radical and the exponent, leaving us the t. So therefore, for 405 meters, it took 9 seconds to hit the ground. Okay, now let's proceed to the third example. The cost of a taxi fare varies directly as the distance traveled. When the distance is 60 kilometers, the cost is 35 pesos. Find the cost when the distance is 95 kilometers again first we need to look for our equation so we go back to the problem so cost varies directly as the distance so again our equation will be c is equal to k times d now our given there so we have find the distance so d is equal to 60 kilometers and it cost 35 pesos. So we will be solving for the k. Again, our equation c is equal to k times d. Simply substitute. So 35 is equal to k. d is 60. So divide everything by 60. Now we cancel the 60. And our k here is 7 over 12. Now we will be looking for the cost when the distance is 95 kilometers so the same equation of variation c is equal to k times d so c is equal to k is which is 7 over 12 and the distance is 95 so 7 over 12 times 95 that is 55 pesos and 41 centavo for 95 kilometers so that's all for today i hope you've learned something about direct variation thank you so much